really got some exciting stuff in version 3.2, which I want to share with my community. Another big one, which comes from medical, education, etc., is having multiple cameras connected to X50 or G7500, because these devices have as additional USB ports. So now you can connect, you see the USB, the Eagle Eye 4 USB, you can connect the uh, Eagle Eye Mini or the, uh, the Cube or the Studio USB. You can connect all kinds of additional cameras. I would say with the G7500, eh, you can connect up to three USB ports and eh, uh, USB uh, cameras, and uh, you can connect the HDCI, but also you can use the content, the HDMI input, which is normally for content. You can also uh, use that as a people camera. You can change that. So I will show you that in the uh, in the interface. So there's a lot of things happening uh, concerning cameras, but it gives you a great option. For example, uh, if you look in those uh, in those rooms where you have uh, people uh, maybe whiteboarding here on those screens, uh, and people stand here, then you can change the camera view by using different camera angles and you switch on the TC8 uh, or you can switch on the screen. And I will show you that also a bit later, how that looks like. So you could even use, for example, the Cube, which has speaker track. And I think that's also very nice. So you can connect multiple of those uh, Cube cameras, which will follow the speaker. And so in case, again, you're standing right here and you need to do some outer tracking and you're walking over there, really nice. So the camera uh, is able to, to track you. And uh, it will remember also those settings. And if you made a specific setting for a specific camera connected to uh, the G7500 or the X50, it will remember that. So let me show you in the interface where you can do that. So here I'm connected to an X50. So let me go to the video inputs. And here you go. What we see now is that we have connected here to my X50, for example, an Eagle Eye Cube. And you can do some settings here with the cube. And also you can change your current people camera, which is by default uh, the main camera. What you can change is, for example, to the cube as the main camera if needed. And so that will be the standard camera. For example, there's a different setup. As I said, the teacher standing in front of the whiteboard and needs to be that different angle with that camera. Then you can set it as a primary camera. And also, and you got the possibility, as you see here, enable camera selection that the user can select also the camera using a touchscreen or doing that from the TC8. Also good to know the HDMI is by default content. And so now you can connect other 4K cameras and HDMI using the HDMI input also as a camera input. And so you can change that also now in the interface. And you got some basic settings here for the camera. And so your sharpness, brightness, uh, color saturation. So a speaker track function, uh, so you can turn that frame group, or frame speaker. So there's quite some things uh, which you can uh, which you can enable. Also good to know if you want to use the audio, for example, from a studio USB, that's also a possibility. But if you want to do that, you need to enable USB audio. And then on an X50 or a G7500, you can use a headset. Uh, and that will probably also work at least for the headset uh, on the X30. But then you can also use a headset or any other conference device and connect that through the USB port and you're able to, uh, to use that. Really, really nice, especially the multiple camera support uh, is, uh, is, uh, was also a big one from a lot of customers. So here to camera, you go to select camera. And here you can see you can switch cameras here in case you got a touch screen. I think that's very nice. So you can also call it whiteboard or anything. And you just select it and you can uh, move to that other camera. Now, the other option is using the touch panel, the TC8. So as you can see here, you can also click on camera, as you see here. And here you got a 
similar option where it says by default main and that's the built-in camera of the uh, x30 and uh, nx50 uh, and here you go you got two cameras so you can easily switch cameras you can use the presets uh, for the cube and uh, you can do the tracking uh, on and off so there's a lot of uh, settings which specifically uh, for every camera will come available